Hey, this is Katsupa, Katsupa. And I will solve the quarter of Ignatius Contest 166 of uh, problem E. And this is it. Uh, the title is This message will self destruct in 5 seconds. 5 seconds? 5? I don't know. Um, you are the top spy of Otkwood Kingdom to prevent the stolen secret from being handed to. Uh, what is Aldebaran, Aldebaran Kingdom? You have sn sneaked into the party where the transactions happen. There are N attendees in this party, and they are given 10 D numbers from 1 to N. The height of 10 D is AI. According to an examination before hold, uh, you know that a pair of attendees satisfying the condition below will make the transaction. The absolute difference of the attendee number is equal to the sum of their height. What? The absolute difference of the attendee number uh, is equal to the sum of their height. Oh, okay. There are uh, these ways to choose two from. Uh, the, yeah, this is it, and choose two. And among them, how many have uh, satisfied the condition above? Yes, we cannot let you know the secret. What? 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 Okay, so the constraints is like this. Um, big. Enough. And given an N and many numbers. Okay, so let's look at the sample. Uh, there's six people. Two, three, three, one, three, one. The hate was this. It was this. And uh, these three pairs miss the condition. Uh, a1 plus A4, A1 plus A4 equal to 3, and difference of one, one, 4 and 1 is 3, good. And 2, 6, 3 and 1, good. 4, 6, the difference is 2, and sum is 2, great. Okay, so the answer is 3. Mm. So the easiest way is to uh, calculate uh, the te test old pairs, but it takes and it's used two times, and that's very large uh, because n is two to the, two to the ten to the five, so that means it takes ten to the ten time calculation to check all pairs, and it won't be fit in two seconds. So I have to come up with good algorithms. Uh, what can we do? So in this case something like this and the condition is not so easy so in that case we have we the best way is to write in the formula some kind of formula uh, uh, I don't want to use pen 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 okay good so the condition is ai plus aj must meet I minus J doesn't matter for this. Uh, yeah. So that means you have to count this kind of bit. But that means count A I plus A J equal I minus J and A I plus A J equal J minus I. Um, of course, if I, I minus j is negative, uh, the number of this equal to be zero, and vice versa. But 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 in so not so strange. But this formula, this form is very good for me because we can separate i and j, like in this way. A i minus i equal to minus a j minus j. And the latter one, this one, can change as this. A i minus i m plus i equal to minus a j plus j. So counting this is easy because a i minus i is only depends on i. So we can calculate the numbers of this of a i minus i and number of a j mi minus a j minus j and the value. The range of value they text R is very big, but well, we can use something like set uh, and count, uh, set a map to count. And we can do the same thing with this. So, 
This is difference. The difference of height and index. This is this negative negative this at first sum up the index index and height index and height and negative. This is the also same. This is sum. The dots are negative. And this is the difference. But the it was neg negative form of this one. Hmm. So let's count them all of them. Count all of them. Okay. Um E to pi. So let's use map to count them. Uh, count in minus minus height is an empty map and defined for similar things in plus height and height minus in index and minus in minus height for i in range n no no at first we have to get n get n n is get like this and a in a height is the same as ever list map it's input split mm, okay so for height for i in range n no not n uh yeah n is fine yeah so the input was one index and i want to deal with zero index but we we only consider about the difference so the index is doesn't matter so we can use result any conversion uh, so count int minus height oh if index so in this and the height is ages int if if int minus height not in this dictionary just at zero and otherwise implement them oh count in minus height height y Oh yeah, in in the height in the height there's no in the height in minus height minus height okay and do the same thing four times next is count in plus height so uh, let's replace minus with plus. Plus, plus. Next time, uh, height minus int. So just replay, uh, swap the height and int. Height minus int. Height minus int. Minus index. Just add implement. Oh, there is any. Oh, yeah, missing T. And finally, the most ugly one. Uh, minus, minus in minus height. Minus in minus height. So just add minus. Okay, so finally we have to calculate the number of the indices 
if it was this relationship. Uh, okay, so that means the first one is the sum. No, no, the first one is the int minus, no, no, height minus int, and minus minus. So for value in height minus int. Out height minus index uh, answer plus equal count height minus end value times count minus value but sometimes there's no value in the latter dictionary so we have to add if formula count minus index minus height if value in this okay ah so there, there's no answer here so we define this here and initialize with zero and for value in what was rest sum sum and index minus height so index minus height if value in the sum uh, uh, in plus height answer plus equal in minus height value times count minus index minus no 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 this is this is not one count index plus height and value and print answer but it will output the wrong answer you know why before that, let's check how it goes. So how about this? No, 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 no. Python three. No, 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 no. Python with e to the pi. Do this. Six. Yeah, it's too big. But why six? Um. So in fact. They will count uh, two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it, it count two times. But how about? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So it count two times. So we have to divide by two. This is zero. This must be forty-four in this case. Yeah. So I we have to divide by two. So we double count them, double count all the pair and it's okay, okay so let's submit this maybe, maybe it will have, it will get TLE because the map of Python is a bit slower than the the same one of C++ so let's see the results and I will cut this video if it is AC otherwise I will uh, Oh, okay, it seems good. So if we if I get TLE, I will write the same algorithm with C++. But it seems good, I think. 42, 48. Okay, accepted. Thank you very much. The next video, uh, I have, I will have the live computer problem F. So please enjoy. Bye.